Hey, welcome, Alan Simpson. I want to tell you a little bit about my short course on uh, using Firebase database as a hit counter with JavaScript. Now, I know there's Google Analytics and a million other hit counter things out there. I'm not trying to compete with that. I just think this is a good vehicle for learning some uh, Firebase techniques with JavaScript. So, if you're not terribly familiar with it, we would basically have a database, a real-time database that stores hit count information in JSON format. So each one represents a given page in your site. That would be page. Count is how many times it's been hit so far. Last refer is the where the last hit came from. Last visit is the date and time of the last visit in JSON format, which isn't humanly readable, but will make it readable. Okay, and in fact, this is all storage, so it's not really intended to be readable by people. You're going to have one of these for every page, so it's kind of a mess. To make it more readable for you, the person, we'll create a web page that then reads that data and displays it in a simpler tabular format. Now, I know this isn't beautiful, but it's not for the public to see. It's for you to check things out. Now, if you're coming from a SQL background, you're going to find that... Uh, Firebase has very limited querying and sorting capabilities. If you actually need to sort this stuff, you can just copy it out of that page and stick it into Excel or some database and sort it that way. Again, it's the information is really intended for you, the owner of the site, not really for the public. We're going to work strictly in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Firebase. There won't be any libraries, no Bootstrap or jQuery or any of that stuff. Just pure front-end code. So if you're interested in learning some Firebase tricks using just those pure front-end languages, come check it out. You just might pick up a cool new trick or two. All right? Hope to see you there. Bye-bye now.